What do we, Chris, we, we do this thing each and every week where you can win a 9.8 slab. What is it called? It is called Fresh from the Comic Shop. Live from the pressing salon. Chris right now is holding up a slab. You can't see it yet until I remove this slide here, but it is a wonderful, wonderful slab that somebody is going to win next week based off of the Fresh from the Comic Shop submissions this week. What is it, Chris? Look at this beauty. Look at this beauty. Absolute Carnage, number five, variant cover in a CGC 9.8. Look at that. That's Fire, right. Fire. And this yes. is sponsored by Whatnot, guys. We're going to talk about Whatnot, and then we're going to get into how, how you're going to be able to win one the next week. I think we have the two weeks. No, one more, actually. We have one more, yeah. huh? Well, we have one more after this, but can we mention... Can we mention the the beauty of this community and what happened with the winner last week real yeah. fast? Kamigazi. 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 That's right. it forward. So Kamigazi was our winner last week, and he's going to be paying his 9.8 slab forward. So we'll have more details on that over the next uh, uh, coming weeks. But, but today, yeah, for everyone that submitted, you guys are going to have the opportunity to win this. We are going to have another 9.8 slab. Uh, giveaway for for next week's entries as well. That's right. But first, we're going to get into how to win this. Yep. And again, this is sponsored by Whatnot. Whatnot is an amazing new app that combines the uh, that combines the safe buying platform of eBay with the video component of Twitch. Their mission is to bring together collectors and enthusiasts to safely buy, sell, and connect. You guys, you can buy comic books, Funko Pops, base cards, uh, all sporting cards, all collectibles are sold on this amazing platform. As you can see right here, somebody's gonna win a bid on a Funko Pop. Uh, it's the, the, it, the interface is absolutely user-friendly. Uh, it's It literally is a combination of eBay and video, and it, it's, it's absolutely amazing. And we're very fortunate to have WhatNot on board with Comic Book Canada to be giving out the Fresh from the Comic Shop wins each and every week. But let's talk about, Chris, how you can win a uh, 9.8, my dog's biting my hand, by the way, right now. Uh, <laughs> How you can win a, uh, a fresh from the comic shop. Um, I'm distracted, Chris. You're going to have to take it from me. All right. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. Okay. 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 Again, again, you need to hit that link that's below the what not link. Okay. Hit that sign up for whatnot. It's really easy. It's more, it's easier than signing up for eBay or anything like that. You sign up with your account and then you find us combo book cannon on whatnot app. And follow us. Once you do that, you just do the same thing that you always need to do for Fresh from the Comic Shop. You get your phone out. You take a picture of a fresh kit, right? And you post it to your Instagram. Don't PM us. Don't post it to your story. You post it to your Instagram. And you leave the hashtag FFTCS. It's right down there. And you also at Combo Book Canonus, okay? Now, remember, you want to focus on three criteria. You just don't want to take a ugly picture in the dark of some random book, you know, make sure it's a book that, you know, you think has a nice uniqueness to it. Maybe it has an awesome, unique cover. Maybe you want to include an awesome, unique story on how you picked it up, right? Then presentation, make sure you present it, you know, in, in a way that makes it stand out, whether it's awesome lighting or you're putting your, you, you know, your toys uh, that are relevant to the book around and I mean we've seen all kind of really out of the box stuff over the last few weeks so you know um that is for yeah. sure yeah yeah absolutely so make sure you're you know really making it interesting spicing it up and uh and you will have an opportunity to win because we will pick two finalists from all of our entries and then we have you the audience vote on them all right let's not get distracted by the dog lots of dog comments here I love it Cash here loves it. And again, he's going straight for the Peloton. Come here, bud. Come here. Anyways, uh, so yeah, we're going to get right to it. We're going to get right to uh, Fresh from the Comic Shop right now, Chris. Um, we don't have a guest this week, so it's just going to be Chris and I going back and forth and going through all your submissions. They were some amazing submissions again this week. Chris, yep. you are going to start off Fresh from the Comic Shop. What is your first fresh get oh. of the week? All right. I'm going to go... With this one first, again, big shout, A1 Comics. Woo! Uh, this is this is for Dan. I've had a few over the last few weeks that have been uh, uh, for Dan. Because we appreciate you, Dan. You're here. I see you there. 
All right, this is a defender's number two. Ooh, yes. Number two. Number two. Look at that. Silver Surfer busting through the scene. Look at that. that I love it. Gorgeous book. Gorgeous book. I want to know if Dan De La Torre has that issue. I guarantee you he does. He probably has at least the first 10. Um, but that is a gorgeous, gorgeous book. That is a nice pickup, Chris. But Chris, we're just going to jump into it. You know, we're important, but you know who's more important? Our yes, audience is way more important than us. So we're yep. going to get right into it because last week we missed this one. And I am so sorry, Hopback. Um, if you can't get that first Ooh. appearance, get that second picked up a decent copy nice. of Daredevil 2 and could not be happier. I'm loving the presentation. This is what we're talking about, guys. Presentation here, well thought out, a nice action figure uh, with the old Daredevil costume. Beautiful copy. Uh, and give us a little story as well. Hop back. Thank you so much. And we apologize. We did not get that into the submissions last week. Also, another one we missed is House of L comic. Uh, got oh, this back in my collection after 20 years when I lost it. My first copy in a house fire, Batman Adventures 12. Very happy that you got this book back because this is a collector's gem, as we all know why. First appearance of Harley Quinn in comic books. And son of comics, new Agents of Atlas, Friday Night Special. Uh, I am loving this cover here. I, you know, it's a variant cover. I do believe of issue one. These guys are blowing up. This, this, the, these characters are going to blow up, and there's, there's a good chance we may see some in Shang Chi as well as Miss, or actually the Marvels. There's, there's rumors here going around, going around. We didn't cover it in the news because it was reported, not confirmed news. Yeah. Moving on though, I'm loving this series and I'm loving these covers by Scotty Young, E. Marvel, Department of Truth, Scotty Young variant. Man, this read was crazy and referenced so many different events in the history of this country that were crazy AF. We all know what that means. And yes, they cover some crazy, crazy events. Guys, I'm going to go with my first pick of the week here. A uh, lot of talk about Dr. Afra. Everybody's anticipating her showing up in some Star Wars series. And a lot of talk about Ezra Bridger and all of those Rebels characters. I love yep. this cover. I love it. This is Dr. Afra number 18. This is the first series with Hera on the cover. Mm. Two fan favorite characters that we will ideally see in action. I know Dr. Afra's coming. She's got to be coming, guys. Uh, and be. Uh, and, and I think here is not far behind because they're saying Ezra Bridger is definitely coming as well. Again, rumors, not hard confirmed uh, sources, but moving on. I'm happy I picked that up for $4. Uh, you see that book, people? I would highly recommend picking it up. It's definitely going to fan favorite cover right now, and it's just going to blow up as well. Moving on, though, we got Raw Dog Comics. If It just goes to prove you don't know. You're following the way until you get there. Uh, I had no idea that that this is a great story, by the way. I had no idea what was in store for me this morning when I went for a walk around the neighborhood. I just happened to go into the local antique shop, Tin Roof Antiques in St. Louis, found these two comics at an incredible price. I mean, come on. Those are two hot Star Wars comics as well, tying into my last pick. I love this one from Neighbor to the North because um, <laughs> he calls us out, Chris. He calls us out. It's not quite true. Uh, pressed this book for my local comic shop a, week, a few weeks ago, and it's been on my mind ever since. I messaged Sith Lordly, aka the best. This is this is Chris and I say this. The 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 he is the Star Wars expert to to me. Anything that's out there, I go to and ask him uh, about the price. He, so he asked Sith Lordly about the price my shop wanted, and he put it in my head that I should grab it up. Here it is, fresh from the comic shop. Uh, also, he's this is where he calls us out. The guys from Comic Book Canada insist on people showing their faces, so here it is. <laughs> Jedi vs. Sith, first appearance of Darth Bane. Bane, that is not true, neighbor to the north. We do not insist, but we we appreciate it even more. Chris, is that right? Yeah. I, I like that. Yeah, yeah. Look, look, look. At your leisure, man. We don't want to put anyone on blast if you ain't feeling it. But we like to see it. We like to put the face to the to the name. You know? Absolutely. We, we're loving this. You guys are just names right now. A lot of you are just names right now. We want to see those faces. And I'm going through these comics, and you guys just are amazing people. Just amazing people. Uh, moving on, though, uh, after Neighbor to the North, we have Hanging with Spidey. Dr. Very Strange, nice. Supreme, number 44. I've been hunting for a good copy of this for a while. This is definitely new mint. That's a beautiful cover. It all almost reminds me, it looks like Walt Simonson. I'm not sure if he did that cover, but it's got a lot of his style in there. Uh, Gus 420 and X, Marvel Godzilla, number 20. Uh, and he wants everybody to know it's YouTuber Comic Toby. We do see you oh, here. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then this is a cool one. This is a cool one that not many people talk about. 
I mean, there's no spec potential to it, but it's just a great book to have. Um, this is, uh, who's the, uh, this is, I'm sorry, Qua- I think it's Quasar. I can't, I can't remember the name. I forgot to put it down there. But uh, who's the fastest man alive into oblivion says Barry Allen, AKA the flash from the DC universe secret crossover cameo. You guys need to check oh, this yeah. out. It's a fascinating story. Fascinating story. And then we have half court. 757, King and Black, Gwenpool versus Carnage, the David Nakayama, number one cover on the left, the David Nakayama, wow. number two on the right, just need to get number three to complete the set. I like this, what he's got going on. He's yeah. got the Carnage theme going on there. Absolutely loving that 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 poster or whatever it is in the background. Chris, what is your second fresh game? Oh, my second. Okay. Oh, another big shout out to A1 Comics. <laughs> All right. I've been talking about this almost. I think I've shown off one of these, uh, an issue from this run over the past like three or four weeks saying this is this is my second best grill run right now. When you say grill run, it means your favorite run to collect, right? ASM is my number one, but this one has been right there, second best. I'm trying to complete this run. I only need, outside of a few of the late, um, like in the 90s, Remember, Marvel books, a lot of the volume ones rebooted in 96. Some of them rebooted in 98. Remember that? So this one, I need a few towards those last numbers. It's like 400 and something. And outside of that, I only need 19 more books. Most of them are earlier in the run. I picked up this one. Thor 132. This is the first cameo appearance of Ego. One more. One more to check off that is nice yeah. man that is a nice nice book loving that that's a great pickup chris but you know who else has great pickups our audience here we're going to get back into it uh decor collectibles has quite the haul ice cream man number 24 he got that for 20 bucks the nice house on the lake he got that for five bucks that's going for much more future state gotham two for four bucks black panther number 25 the patrick gleason stormbreaker variant for six bucks I'm not sure how that's doing in the secondary market, but I really like that cover. Star yeah. Wars Bounty Hunters, number one. Uh, King and Black, Wenham vs. Carnage. Got that for a dollar. Uh, and S-Word Art Online, Art Prints on Wooden Canvas for 15 bucks. That is a nice, those are some nice fresh gets. Really enjoying that. And guys, we have a former winner here um, from, I think, our first week, Chris. I can't even remember. It's going by so quickly. Sicilian Comics, 1998. Yep. The Luomo Ragno. Number 289, Facts, as he says, Italian reprint of Amazing Spider-Man. Number 298, published in February of 1992. Same cover, guys, just the, it's the Italian version. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous. Loving those pickups from Sicilian Comics 1998. And then we have Basement Brother Collective. See, he put some thought into the – this is called presentation, guys. Ooh, yeah. He put some thought into this. Uh, Basement – or they did. Basement Brother Collective's Absolute Green Lantern Rebirth. I went for the presentation factor this week, among other things, given the community – some much needed DC love. We hear you, buddy. We are we are and we are here for it. Then we got cover nice junkie job. comics. Ten image co- number one issues for ten dollars. That's insane. All right, so he's got wow. pit number one, Shadowhawk number one, Supreme number one, Cyberforce number zero, Cyberforce number one, Vanguard number one, Darker Image number one, Bloodstrike number one, The Field number one, The Max number one, which is a minty fresh newsstand copy. Wow. Uh, and Go Clock has it selling for $210 in a CGC 9.8. Even if it's not a 9.8 cover junkie comics, you have made out so well with all of those books yep. for $10. Love that. And guys, here's Comic Ozzy. Comic Ozzy right here. Our winner from last week who's donating his book. We'll get into how you can win his book in a couple weeks. Uh, but he's got another one here. He says, yeah, yeah, I know. A bunch of first appearances. Number one, Blue Beetle, et cetera. Nine, number nine, Guy Gardner. Officially becomes a Green Lantern. There are some DC books that are undervalued there. Uh, that may not be a match for, I don't know if this is the same books I said. Anyways, uh, thank you again, Kamikaze. Good dude. You're going to see his face, actually, in a few weeks. Guaranteed. Yep. Huey Plata. Uh, as he says, Jeff from Comic Book Canning. Well, Chris and I are Comic Book Canning, just to clarify that. But Chris is also Journalist Comics. Said they want to see something unique for Fresh from the Comic Shop. My mail call has answered. Check out this beautiful hand-painted null cover from Esteban Salinas. That is gorgeous. Very nice. That's gorgeous. Great stuff, Huey Plata. Thank you for sending that in. We have Vinny Whitlock. Guys, Vinny Whitlock, every each and every week, Silver Age books. And they are always amazing. 
and this week, no less. Mail, uh, mail call, Fantastic Four, number 10, the third appearance of Dr. Doom. Uh, don't sleep on this book. Amazing story of Dr. Doom's deception to gain access to Reed's shrink ray. My dog is trying to jump out the window right now, but I do want to comment. On the fact that I, love Re- I love Reed's face here, how sinister he looks. This, this Kirby art is absolutely incredible. Hey, Cash, don't jump out the window, bud. Hey. Let's just hope he doesn't jump out the window, people. All right. This one's near and dear to my heart, guys. Fat Boy Snacks. Finally have my G.I. Joe nice. number one CGC newsstand only cartoon comic that I rooted for, the bad guys. Yes, Snake Eyes was cool, but the Cobra had dope villains like Destro, Baron, and Serpentor, Storm Shadow, and can't forget Cobra Commander. And he gave the patented Cobra. Um, I'm, I'm loving this because I have a – honestly, the first big back issue book I ever bought, big being 20 bucks when I was 12, 12 years old, uh, I bought – G.I. Joe number one. It was a newsstand. I didn't realize newsstand was something back then. None of us did actually, probably. But that was the first big back issue I ever bought. Um, Fat Boy Snacks, really appreciate that. Uh, you know what else I appreciate, Chris? Are people doing it right here? People entering into Fresh from the Comic Shop the correct way. And we're going to get into that one more time here. Because what you guys do is, this is sponsored by Whatnot. If you want to win the slab next week, you got to follow the instructions here. You must sign up to Whatnot. The link is down below in the description, okay? Uh, you must follow Comic Book Cannon on the Whatnot app. You must post a picture of your fresh get. They have to be fresh. We're getting a lot of pictures that are like, got this a few years ago, really love it, fresh from the comic shop. No, that's not fresh from the comic shop. It's got to be in the past week. The past week, okay? Um, so post that pic on Instagram. Don't DM it to us. Don't send it any other way other than posting it Hashtag Fresh from the Comic Shop. Hit us up. Also tag us uh, at Comic Book Cannon, and we will put we will post your book, guys. We will post it. We had over fifty entries this week, not including people sending in multiple entries. Okay, so we will do it for you guys because we love this segment. We love you. We love giving stuff out. So please follow the instructions. But moving on, I'm going to get into my second uh, fresh get of the week. What do we got? What do we got? I'm not going to give any spoilers here, but Nightwing has been a fantastic DC read. <laughs> fantastic, and 70, 78 kicked it off. Uh, Tom Taylor, killing it writing this book. Um, Redondo is killing it with the art. And, you know, the art here on this second print of issue 78, stunning. Just stunning. So I found this uh, in one of the shops I frequent. It's really far away from me, but I go there every once in a while. And I find some goodies there. And this was sitting there. These are hard to find now. This isn't, I don't think this is going for much on the secondary, not as much as the first print, but this is the second print. I just absolutely Love, love, love this cover. Especially the buildings here. It kind of looks like the Nightwing logo, if you notice that. The white. All yeah. around the building. So, anyways, guys, yeah. if you're not reading the series, I highly recommend it. It's a freaking fantastic read. I don't know why I just said freaking. Because, honestly, you guys also have to keep me updated on the Sixers game with the scores. My iPad just went down, and it was two minutes left. They were up by one. Really Uh-oh. not happy about that. Moving on, we have... What do we have? We have Mark Lenniker, who actually had the best the best question, the best quote uh, to comparing Banksy to, 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 to bad idea. I thought that was absolutely fantastic. Uh, let me find here. Where are you, Mark? Uh, in my notes. Where are you? Here we go. Here we go. Here, Mark Lenniker figured I'd follow up Mickey Mouse. He was posting a lot of uh, Golden Age Mickey Mouse uh, issues that he had. Uh, granted, he got them years ago, so he did pick up some new books here. Well, newish books here. Um, the first appearance of Angela in Spawn number nine. And then I'm not sure which what issue that is as well. Oh, um, number 97. I'm not sure what that is. Nice. But she's a she's a great character to smack on. Hey, and Ka- he's doing it again. He's chewing up the Peloton. Get over here. Sorry, guys. Moving on. We have we have our first entry from a longtime viewer, Serge here. He's known right. as 080879 Lions. Uh, he picked up uh, a Marvel Super Action number 18. Good pickup. Good job posting that, Serge. We appreciate you did. I'm loving this as well. Voice Inject picked up this gorgeous uh, variant of Guardians of the Galaxy number one from Mutant Beaver Comics. That is a – that it absolutely wow. is a gorgeous cover. Loving that cover. Uh, way, way that art, I mean, that, that, that was – I don't know who that artist is, but it almost looked like a cosplay variant because it looked real. Yeah, it really uh, – you're right. That's a good call. It's not, but it is a wow. beautiful Amazing. cover. Beautiful cover. Uh, and again, you guys are leaving a ton of comics. Uh, 
bottom tier collector sad that Angela is not in the spawn universe anymore. Um, yep. Okay, moving on though. Moving on. We got Wayways comics here. Nice. Amazing Spider Man 316, Web of Spider Man 101, Web of Spider Man 102, Amazing Spider Man 379, and Spectacular Spider Man 203. Trying to complete the run on a budget. You're doing a great job. Also, Wayways, great presentation as well. Really digging that. Really appreciate that. Thank you for that entry. That, again, look at all those books. Nicely placed. That's the way to do it, people. That's awesome. That is, the way that is awesome. Do it. Uh, we got Super Crispy Comics. Here's my crispy submission for Fresh in the Comics Shop. I couldn't wait to get. This in the mail. And in the mail, it's such a dope bearing cover for the Cosmic Ghost Rider number four. The fire looks like it's lit up. I mean, that is that's gorgeous too. That is absolutely stunning. I, I can sit there and look at that cover all day. I'm not going to because people got places to go, but it is gorgeous. Tommy Boy Collections. I've been eyeing this one uh, a while back and got it on a tray from a local comic shop, Los Fantasticos 106. It's a 6.0 grade, a Mexican comic. Same place I scored uh, the classic illustrated vintage Drac. Got to love those trade deals. He also got his wife's car in the shot from last week too. Um, that's it. I wish I could have gotten a better shot of the book. I should have pulled it. I just wanted to see the whole, again, another great presentation. It looks like Kirby art is really, really stunning. Stunning work. Good job, Tommy Boy. Collections on setting that up for us. Good friend Eric, is, a.k.a. Azores Tiger. I mean, every week, dude. Every, every week. He does it to us. The living uh, X Men fifty six. The living Pharaoh becomes the living monolith, and later becomes the living planet. Also, the origin of the Angel and how he joins the X Men. Guys, here's another example. Come up, oh, great book too, by the way, Eric. But this is another great example of a uh, of a great story. Uh, Jamagu leaving Costco parking lot, and I see a car with the trunk open and a few short boxes. Wow. As if he was selling, ended up scoring a nine point six plus. He, he he's eyed it as a nine point six. Thor 337, this one is going to CGC. That's a newsstand, wow. too, people. That is beautiful. See, that is a great story, too, as well. Uh, also, we have Carcamus, who was a finalist last week on Fresh from the Comic Shop, Fantastic Four, Volume 1, number 347, signed by Art Dilbert. Uh, first appearance of the new Fantastic Four, first Meg Roar, and first Bag Leg. Um, that, that, that Fantastic Four, that, 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 the, the, the new Fantastic Four, I do believe was with Wolverine, the Hulk, uh, Ghost Rider, and I cannot remember who the fourth one was. The Spider baddest Man. classic art Adam. Who was it? Spidey. Oh, it's Spidey. Yeah, should have known that. Uh, but Art Adams' work on that was amazing. Amazing. All right, we got Nerds Being Geeks, Cult of Dracula, number one, written by Rich Davis with interior art by Henry Martinez, covered by Guela Namath. These Namath covers, covers remind me of Mike Manola and the classic horror the classic Hammer horror film. I just picked this up on a oh, plane yeah. sale through my local comic shop, Rad Raptor, for all my comic book calls. Check out the Nerds Being Geeks YouTube channel. I say that because we have his link down below. Check him out. I like this one right here. Nukes Comics. This is a good story, too. Oh, nice. I picked up this copy of The Amazing Spider-Man, issue 185 from Titan Comics. It's a key issue for me uh, for a couple reasons. It was released my birth month and year. It also features Peter Parker graduating. I graduated with my master's degree from SMU this May. Full circle. Congratulations, yes. Nukes. Congratulations. Amazing. We are very happy. And Michelle, a.k.a. Moonlit Comics. Um, I'm super excited about this recent Hulk magazine find from my favorite local comic shop. Here's a look at Hulk magazine, number 17, from 1979. Amazing cover art by Earl Norum. Inside front cover by Gene Colan. Classic Gene Colan. He is a icon. Chris, what is your third fresh get? Of the week. All right. My last one is a book that might have some potential if we see some characters be brought back into the MCU that we saw in the loosely connected Netflix series. And this is Marvel Premiere 21. Yeah. Yeah. yeah this is the first appearance of Misty Knight. Nice, nice, dude. Nice. I can't remember the, the lady who played her on on um, uh, Iron Fist. She was excellent, excellent. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Hey Jeff, before I go, uh, and, and we show off some more of of the uh, fresh gets from our viewers. I don't know. We might have to end the show early because I'm never going to be happy about this news. What? But I was watching the game. On my phone. Time out. This is what I'm watching right now. It's a blank screen because my iPad went. Yep. 
Yeah. All right. Are you ready? I'm, I mean, I'm nervous right now. I'm, I'm honestly I, nervous. I should have. I should have waited till the end of the show, but I don't know, man. There's only 13 seconds left, and they're up by five. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, God, dude, you had me. I was like, no, the way you set it up. Oh my God. Yep. I, I they're up by five. 14 seconds left. Fingers crossed. All right, we're doing a show here. Let's be professional, Let's Chris. We're doing a show. We do it for you. Uh, by the way, Dan De La Torre, okay, Jeff, what's the score? We all know you're watching. I'm not, I would be, but I'm not. Chris just gave me a fantastic update. So I'm, I'm pumped. Anyways, great, great, uh, first Misty night. I, I loved, I love that character and I love, I love what you did in Iron Fist. By the way, we also got, um, um, uh, Peter didn't graduate from SMU. It was NYU. I, I, yes, but, um, Nukes Comics graduated from SMU. Yeah. Yeah. Just want to clarify that. Just want to clarify that. That's a great pickup, Chris, and even better update on the game. Moving on to all you fine people. Uh, oh, man, I'm so beside myself right now. Uh, golden, this is another great presentation. Chris, we made a we made an appearance. Oh, look at in that. Golden, in Golden hey, Tiger Comics. It's uh, over. It's over. Sorry. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> golden Tiger Comics. No, we can't say that. Uh, glad to see you both appreciating my freshman the comic slabs jokes he said uh started collecting comics six months ago wow from a long hiatus in the 90s times have changed but the passion has not now in my 40s i can <clears throat> afford to buy comics i always wanted while having appreciation for new comics thor 338 the second appearance of better ray bill and star wars high republic just a, that's a hans cover just a great cover both well hans is the 9.8 and that 9.6 is that's a solid solid get golden tiger comics i really love this what you did here and in, including us in your post really appreciate that uh that that's that's a, again another great pre- creative presentation uh we got next up we got toys and blasters batman beyond universe number one again I, he's got those yellow backgrounds each and every week uh we got matt cross plus comics uh two high grade copies buried in the dollar bin of Battlestar galactica so excited being a fan of both series yeah i i, I can't i i tried chris i couldn't get into that that's the second series i tried um Teach his own. I'm sure most of you enjoyed it. I just, I don't know. I just, I didn't, couldn't get into it. I tried. All right. Neil Floyd, 79, Venom 27. Ooh. This is my first signed book. It's pretty nice that it is also the first full appearance of Codex. The seller was a good guy who was local. So hopefully I have made a good local connection for future deals or just to talk comics. It's always good to talk, just to talk comics. And that cover is awesome. Presentation is awesome. I like the nonstop Spider-Man uh, comic book box back there. Great stuff. Great stuff. All right. We got demented Corey with the Batman 423, the classic McFarlane cover. Then we got Union Josh comics. Here is Young Man 25 reprint. I never thought I'd see any original Young Man books in person, and I didn't know oh, this nice. book existed. Saw this in my local comic shop wall today and nearly had a heart attack thinking it was the original. When I realized it was a reprint, I still grabbed it because it's OG Human Torch and will be the closest I'll get. Also a feature from both Submariner and Cap, just to complete this awesome addition to the collection. You're always bringing uh, amazing additions to the collection, you and Josh, and we appreciate yep. you sharing that with us each and every week. Good friend Ian Hoodrat Comics, combo it up for some Woman Power Wednesday and some Fresh from the Comic Shop. Sent to a local uh, shop after a quick surf this morning and walked out with some mini gems. I mean, we see some Young Avengers there, guys. That's all that needs to be said. Young Avengers, done, right? I mean, they are... They're next. It's happening. It's, they're next. Comic Hunter, 70, 73, sorry. Fresh from the comic shop and midweek Marvel for Union Josh Comics. Venom 200 was undecided about picking it up, but in the end, I did. Best be worth the high ticket. We hope it was. I haven't read it yet, uh, but that's a $10 book, Chris. That's a $10 book off the rack. Not the secondary yeah, market. I, I, think. I, I got mine uh, coming in the mail because I get my mail subscription. So I, I wonder how beat up it's going to get going to be. <laughs> well, yeah. I, I mean, it, I, I haven't seen mine either. I haven't, I haven't been into my local comic shop, been to another comic shop. But my local has all my polls. I haven't been there for two weeks now. So I'm the same way. I don't think it'll be beat up, though. They take care of me. Uh, right, Royals on right. story. Anyways, they don't pay me to say that. Dave collects. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Stoked to get this 150 Heroes Reborn variant by Jeffrey Varege to go with my uh collection of of his covers he also had a venom 200 cover that i have on the way happy new comic book day everybody obviously he posted this on wednesday i love this co- i love this book right here i love it heroes were born comics new arrival basic spider-man number 600 foil variant by panini probably will get a number of relevant spidey artists and writers to sign this 
uh, at New York Comic Con, uh, witnessed by CGC this year. This is this is I, I love this cover, and I'm really pumped you got this. Heroes Reborn. Moving on, first post from Reapers Scoobs Comics. My comic polls for this week. Super happy with these, and was able to grab the Hero Initiative Venom 35. So pumped for this. That's the green one in the bottom right, guys. That is a nice looking cover. All right. My last fresh get, my third fresh get of the week. Again, I stopped by this bookstore, this comic book shop that I think they, they, I don't know why, how they still have these back, these issues on the new issue racks, but they do. So Yara Floor is a hit. I, that was the first, that was, I I love future, future state um, Wonder Woman. Yara Floor was excellent. Joelle Jones killing it with the writing and the art, killing with the art. This variant was just sitting there. I was like, I'm going to get it. This is the Wonder Woman 84 variant. Oh, nice! I'm not yeah. a fan of the movie, but I'm a fan of this cover. It's, yeah. it's not it's not Yara Floor on the cover, but it is yep. first appearance of Yara Floor. Really yep. enjoying them. I mean, this variant is gorgeous. Look at the colors there. Yeah, yeah. I, I got that one. I picked up all of those Wonder Woman '84 variants. They were amazing. Most of them had had um, Gal on them herself, and I'm like, I, I got to grab these. Yeah, uh, they were all beautiful covers. Again, I think the covers were better than the movie. Sorry for all yeah. you fans out there. <laughs> We wanted it to be good. The first movie was good. This one just wasn't. And sorry to say, uh, but you know what? You know what's good? All of these submissions, Chris, because we got Flap Slap Junior. Nice. Looking forward to seeing the MCU Cinematic Taskmaster. Not long to wait now. Uh, not the best copy, but still managed to get this for a great price. Uh, yeah, first appearance of Taskmaster. Absolutely. Well, first full cameos before this issue. Look at the action figure right there. I'm psyched for this movie, Chris. I know you are too. I want to ask you, Chris, I don't want to get too far off topic. Are you going to see it in the theater? Probably not. Yeah. But I will be seeing every, like, uh, every, every single one that comes out after this. Even if, even if any of them have the on-demand option, uh, I'll, I'll be in the movie theater. But for, for right now, uh, for, for next month, uh, we got it all planned out. We already got the popcorn bot and everything. Good. Um, good. So we'll be at home. Good, good. Um, <laughs> Yeah, by the way, I, uh, Mark Lenniker is saying this is the British variant. Um, I can't see it that well. I should have looked oh, at yeah. it. Oh, yeah. Yep. But, 15 uh, pence. I do believe Flap Slap Jr. All is, color. All is, color. Is, yep. is overseas as well. He's uh, overseas somewhere. Anyways, great, great submission there. Uh, flap Slap. All right, moving on. We have, uh, I love this cover. Chris, you're gonna love this too, and it's good friend Justin, aka No Good Comics. Look at this! Look at this! Storm, storm, storm! Beautiful. Fell in love with the stunning. Oh, I can never pronounce this guy's name. Oliver Copio. Copio. I love his artwork, but 150 variant. Everything from the flow of Storm's hair to the subtle blue yep. shine coming from the front of her hand. Just some phenomenal art right there. A little something for fresh from the comic shop for my brothers at Comic Book Cannon. We love you, Justin. Thank you for submitting that. That is just outstanding. And we have. Word, word, word Bubble Collect, New Comic Book Day, Venom 200, Legacy and Modern Storyline, uh, Storyline Grab, Storyline Connecting, Collecting. I'm not sure what he means by that or he or she means by that, but those are some nice gets. I like that. I do like that variant, that Venom 200 variant on the right. That is a nice looking book. All right. Next up, we have Wands Ready 88. Found this today from the local comic shop. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you, Greg's Comics. First appearance of Kazar Zabu in the Savage Land with that Jack Kirby artwork. I'm loving this pickup. I don't know if anything's going to happen with Kazar in MCU, but he's a he's a he's a pretty good character that not many people talk about. So that is that is beautiful. And here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. Our good friend, the bearded one, and I know he's in the chat. I can't remember his alias. Um, he's been back and forth on Instagram trying to get uh, trying trying to get a comic book related one. This is his beer one or whatever so he just stuck with it anyways the bearded one is back that's right here's my oh, third man. attempt for the third straight week to get a fresh from the comic shop submission into comic book canon maybe my original account will get this gorgeous first appearance of big barda submitted in time it is a gorgeous appearance we know you're a big dc fan especially lobo and we appreciate that i appreciate the i guess that's wallpaper in the background very very nice <laughs> the floral plant maybe a, maybe a tablecloth man it could be a tablecloth that's probably it. You're not probably not put slapping your books up against the wall with that paper wallpaper. Anyways, moving on, we have uh, newsstand yeah. comics X Men two thirteen. This is you. 
has the first cameo uh, appearance of Mr. Sinister in the exact panel was difficult to find, in my opinion. Um, anyway, so he had a few pictures here, nine pictures, and he showed it off. But, I mean, this is an epic fight between – an early epic fight between uh, Wolverine and Sabretooth. We, we, we all know and love. Uh, all right, guys, we have to push things along. By the way, Chris has – Chris has an appearance on another show tonight. We're not chipping you guys. We're, you know, we come here. You guys pay full price. We give you a full show, but you don't really pay us. So we'll still give you a full show though. Just wanted to point that out. Anyways, I know somebody in this, in this group here, being the two of us really enjoys this. This is arcade four, four, four. When hobbies collide, I collect comics and pinball machines. Had to get this copy of Marvel team up 66 in CGC 944. It is the first comic I ever purchased from a spinner rack as a kid. By the way, that's, that's a great story. Awesome. What could be better yep. than a life-size pinball machine of death? Wow. Also, it's pinball-related in the comic book. The presentation is on point. I, I, I think it's a fantastic submission right there, Chris. Really, really digging that. Caution, comics fresh from the comic shop. Trying to yeah. compete with Chris from Journals Pop Culture and his Silver Age pickups. Uh, Avengers number 23. First appearance of Ravona Renslayer. Uh, we got... SB. Next up, we have SB Comics. CR, that's Costa Rica people. This was in Spanish, and I translated it all for you good people because we love you here at Comic Book Canada. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while that we were uh, after a cop. It's been a while we were after a copy of the first cover appearance of one of our favorites, Rocket Raccoon. Uh, Incredible Hulk 271, published in 82. We love the colors that Bob Sharon gave it. Without a doubt, a beautiful cover. Thank you so much, SB Comics from Costa Rica. Really appreciate you guys sharing that with us. Then we have, finally, our good friend, P. Keel, Doorway to Nightmare number one. It's nice. the first Madam Zan Xanadu. Uh, he has two women. A 9.6. That's, those are some amazing gets right there. So good on you, P. Keel. All right, guys. Um, we will have our finalists, as we always do, on Monday. Uh, we will announce them on Monday. You guys will vote for them on Monday. We will have a winner on Tuesday. We don't have a Co uh, guest co-host this this episode so chris and i are gonna kind of huddle up and figure out who those two finalists are we'll get back to you good. on that a lot of good options That's a lot of good sure. options